Hey guys, this is New Sensei. Today we have a quick video response to a question from a viewer, Arvid, who asked me about a particular complaint about light draw weights and that it's harder to get a good release or clean release from a light draw weight because the string doesn't fly off the fingers as quickly. The video that he linked to actually belonged to 3D Archery. Now, if you haven't checked out 3D Archery's channel, definitely check it out. I do love how he goes around to all the different 3D courses and has genuine fun. There's a lot of engagement and fun fact involved, so definitely check it out. But the, uh, the video that he linked to involved a 20 pound challenge, uh, where all the participants use 20-ish pound boats. Um, and there was some banter at the beginning of the video and they said a few things actually. One of them was that the 20 pound bow, well you could throw an arrow faster than a 20 pound bow. No, that's just an exaggeration. We say that all the time to make fun of low draw weights. The second thing that was mentioned was that difference in draw and how having a low poundage bow can make it feel harder to get a good release. Now, I actually do have two bows here. I've got my 45 pound Samix Age and my 25 pound OMP Adventure 2.0. Uh, so these are two drastically different draw weights. So I'll shoot uh, both and you can perhaps see for yourself if there's any noticeable difference in my release. We'll start with the 4 to 5 pound sage. And now the 25 pound adventure. So, was there a difference between the 25 pound bow and the 45 pound bow? There kind of was, uh, but kind of hard to explain exactly what it is. Um, it's a very highly subjective feeling. Uh, a lot of veteran shooters who use high poundage bows will report that when going to a low poundage bow, they can't get the feel right, and this makes sense. Your body memorizes a certain physicality, a certain physical feeling uh, when you shoot. So when you come to your full draw, there is a certain balance in your push and pull. Now, when you go from a heavy bow to a light bow, the feeling is wrong because you know your body knows it should feel a certain way, but it doesn't. So someone using a lighter bow may find that they talk the bow much easier because there's less resistance, that's what I'm talking about. Um, the bow needs to have a certain amount of resistance to feel like you're shooting right. And a light bow doesn't give the same feedback as a heavy bow. And that might be the main reasoning behind why people find it harder to shoot light bows. As for making the release harder on a lighter bow, I'm not sure about that. I think, like I said, it's very subjective. Some people will feel a big difference, others won't. Um, the more important thing, in my opinion, is that you have control of the entire shot process. Uh, while I did struggle a bit more with the 45 pound bow, it wasn't really the release that was causing me problems. It was the control of the draw weight. And a 25 pound bow is much easier to pull back and much easier to expand 
and release. Now does the string come off as quickly or well, no it doesn't but it shouldn't be that much of a factor it is only a split second. Uh, so I'm still of the opinion that there aren't that many disadvantages to shooting a light bow. You can shoot for longer, you can control the shot process much better, and you can get form right. The 45 pound bow or high draw weight in general do reward you with a great physical feeling of punching a target. Uh, but I don't think it necessarily gives you an advantage in giving you a better release. You have to work harder for it, but it doesn't inherently make you shoot better. However, higher draw weights can punish you if you shoot poorly. You pretty much have to have good control and good form to use a heavier bow properly without fatiguing, without shooting arrows everywhere. You just have to be able to control the weight of the bow. Uh, does it make shooting easier? No. I think some people have the mentality of uh, because I have to shoot well, um, the heavier draw weight is right for me. And look, I, I can't say that's wrong. I mean, that's a valid opinion and some people do have a positive, constructive growth mentality when it comes to picking up um, harder equipment and trying to use them. Uh, but I don't think it's a hard and fast rule. I think that for some people who already have a good foundation, then yes, it's a good idea to go higher sooner. Uh, but for most people, the average person, I think the light bow doesn't punish you. It will help you learn good foundations and the release isn't really a problem. No, it's going to come off um, regardless of what you do. To sum up, I don't think there is a definitive difference between light and heavy bows, at least for the release part. Some people will feel it, others won't. I think the difference is mostly in the overall shot process and the control of the weight in, in, in relation to your experience and strength as an archer. Um, one of the analogies I use for this one would be in a computer sense, mouse sensitivity. Um, as a gamer and as a power user, um, I prefer a high sensitivity mouse. I, I like the ability to move the cursor around the screen really quickly uh, and precisely with minimal hand motion. Now, my colleagues, the other teachers, um, they have trouble using my mouse settings because it's just way too sensitive. Um, they push it once and it flies off the screen and they can't get them to move in the right place. It's actually quite um, painful to watch them try to do so. And vice versa, uh, when I use their mouse settings, uh, I can't use the mouse because it's just way too slow and heavy. It takes like 10 swipes across the mouse pad to get across the screen. Um, and I think that's the difference. Um, as with some people, some people prefer the lighter feel, others prefer the heavier feel. Um, experienced archers will be more familiar with the heavy weight and the heavy resistance the bow offers. Whereas the light bow kind of throws them off, but it's more friendly to beginners. So why is it a challenge for these experienced 3D archers to shoot 20 pound bows? Well, there are several reasons. The main um, governing factor is slower velocity. Uh, there's less energy in a 20 pound bow compared to a 45 pound bow, so it won't go as fast, and there are several implications. The first one is that you have to compensate more for distance. Because there's less energy and speed, the arrow will drop much sooner, and you have to arc it higher to get onto the target. And that means, um, if it, especially if you're shooting bare bow, you have to deviate much more than what you normally would. Uh, the problem is that, especially again with Bebo, that there's much more room for error, and this is a general Bebo factor. Another reason is uh, because it's slower, it will take more time to get to the target, and that means it spends more time being affected by crosswinds. The third disadvantage is that you simply don't have the range a 20 pound bow will start to really struggle at around 40 to 50 meters and uh, while you still can hit the target again it's just really hard to make that distance and if you're shooting competitively then a 20 pound bow simply won't cut it. Now that doesn't mean that you should be getting a high draw bow straight away. I still think that as a beginner you should be starting low because distance isn't really a factor when you're practicing and starting out. You can shoot three meters in your backyard. I shoot three meters in my backyard and that's completely fine. All you need to work on is form. 
But when you start thinking about shooting longer distance, like you want to compete or you want to hunt, that's when you start thinking about getting higher draw weights. But apart from that, there aren't any real disadvantages to using a light bow. I think the main argument against a light draw weight, for those who are picking between heavy or light, is that it feels too light. This is especially the case if you're an athletic person, you, you, know, you go to the gym and you lift weights and you're really strong, and you feel like the light bow is way too easy. That's a, a fair statement. I think that's a valid and legitimate reason to go for a heavier bow. But just bear in mind that you still have to shoot well. Archery isn't about strength. Archery is about technique. And technique is better learnt with light gear, not heavy gear. So just because you can hold a 40 pound bow for you know, a minute doesn't mean you shoot well with it. So take the time to learn the basics. Uh, don't rush into it because making the wrong choice can delay your development by months, if not years. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.